We've been busy, yeah. We've been busy cleaning up the town. Staffing and trucks have all doubled in the last year for Paul Watts' company, Graffiti Removal Services. The difference between art and graffiti is permission. He gets paid by a contract with the city to scout out graffiti. Southeast is the most heavily tagged, he says. This business owner is trying to remodel his building. He's trying to get it up and running, trying to get tenants. Are tenants really going to be attracted to a building like this when they come up and look at it? Efficiency isn't a trait city governments practice well, but thanks to Watts, the graffiti program has become 10 times more efficient in just one year, where before they waited until a graffiti complaint came in from the public before they did anything, Watts has his team walking entire thoroughfares, getting permission from business owners hit to do the job right then and there. Yes, we have still have the habitual really big taggers out there that are tagging really big bubble graffiti. But the small incidental tags, once we remove them, we're seeing them not reappear back in the neighborhood, and that's what we want. They're covering 22,000 square feet every month. The city wants to double down on that success, adding 400 grand more to the budget. It gets tagged pretty much every day. Joe Tunder owns the upholstery shop next door. He's frustrated about how run down it makes Foster look. School vacation or summer vacation or spring vacation, a Christmas vacation, then you get tagged. Jim Stevens of Powell Paint Center supports more funding. His business gets hit a lot. Just lack of respect for property, I would say. Uh, it's, it's frustrating. They don't. Uh, we need to get the people that have actually done it go out there and try to remove it and see how difficult it is to remove. So this money pays to remove graffiti on both public and private properties. Now we're told there's been a lot of defacing of actual commissioned murals around the city. So that company is actually applying a coating that doesn't let graffiti stick to it. Now you can report problem graffiti areas. We've put the website and the email on KGW.com. Back to you.